Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody's doing great on this wonderful day. Okay, so today I've been putting it off and putting it off, but I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to sublimate a dog bowl. I mean, it's market as a dog bowl. You can use it as a cat, any pet, but you can also use it to throw your keys in, a candy jar, potpourri, whatever. Um, you know, decorate it nice and put it out for the holidays, whatever. Um, or at all occasion. So just depending on how you want to decorate it, how you want to use it. But you don't have to use it just for a dog bowl. You can use it for whatever you want, depending on what you put on it. All right, so this one, like, um, I don't have, I didn't use a template or anything. What I did was I measured all the way around. It came about 19 and a half. And then about two and a half inches tall. Yeah, about two and a half inches tall. And I put those measurements in my program. Now, I do have 13 by 19 paper. Um, I did print it more than once. So here's the one design. And then here's the piece I'm going to take. All right, so we're going to do that. Um, there is one company that carries, um, I think it's 21 inches, you know, the ones that people use for the burp cloths and stuff like that. So let's get started. Um, I try to find videos on it. It was no luck. Everything was like 10 years old or they were using some weird oven or something like that. So. Like I said, first time we're going to learn together because, you know, stuff is not cheap, especially if you mess it up. So let's do it together. I'm using a Hampton Beach Extra Large from Walmart. I'm going to put it on I don't know, close to 400, like 390 or so. It's going to stay on bake. I'm going to have the rack in there and put this on the rack. Um... Some people will put a silicone mat inside because of shrink wrap and metal and all that. I'm not going to bother because it's strictly for pressing. Um, but it is probably going to put off a smell or whatever. Um, but when I do my tumblers and everything, I take the rack out and put it in and really don't have any problems. But I'm going to leave the rack in just because I didn't want the elements too close to um, the bowl. And that is my sassy over there playing with her toy because I got her dog bowl. She can't eat breakfast. So let's get started. So here is my um, design. I did, I guess, make it taller than what I needed it to be. Now I'm going to try to go as straight as I can. So there it is. It is taller, so I'm going to cut it off. But before I do that... I'm going to um, tape, and I'm probably going to use a lot of tape. I am going to use shrink wrap, um, and um, shrink wrap it. I know they have those other grips, silicone wraps that you can wrap around them, but for me, I'm probably only going to do one. I mean, they did come with two, so if I mess up, I have another one, but... Um, I was just planning on um, doing one. So a friend gave me some shrink wrap and it's for the dog bowl. So they do have shrink wrap for the dog bowl. All right. So I'm just gonna tape it like that. And we're gonna see. And then I'll probably have to adjust or trim because the point is to make it as tight as you can. So let's see. Okay. 
Let's see. The only ones they found, they just put a name. They didn't, you know, do a full bleed. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Kind of moves, but I'm going to put tape over it. Let me put it. Trying to pull it as tight as I can. But have some bleed on the top and bottom. And because it's round, you know, we're going to have those issues. You can put your design in, you know, tape it in a half and all that. But I wanted to do one big one. For people with the big printer and stuff, that's what they would have did. Mostly everyone has a 13 by 19 printer. Oops. See, my tape has stopped taping. Okay, so there we go. I'm probably gonna trim the bottom, but let me tape it. And I did print extra, just in case the first one move a little bit so what I'm gonna do is before I tape it I mean before I cut it I'm gonna go ahead and oh, I didn't make my tape long enough okay so let me see first A little loose. I don't know if I'll actually be able to even get it tight. Got it taped right there. So we're gonna trim the side, the bottom. that interfering with the shrink wrap making it tight and like I stated first time doing it so we're gonna get some other tape and I'm going to tape it Now, if your tape leaves a residue and all that, throw your tape away. It shouldn't leave any marks whatsoever. I 
I'm just doing that. Make sure it doesn't move. Like I said, I'm just going along the way because I've never done one and I couldn't really find a video that was that helpful for me. Now, if you found one, that's awesome. But 10 years ago, a lot of things have changed. <laughs> and the ones I did find, they were using air fryer or using some other kind of oven that didn't even um, look right. And I'm gonna put one right over where I take. And since I am folding it, um, we're probably going to have, you know, off gas inside and all that. But it's fine. It's for my sassy. She just likes to have breakfast now. All right. We'll see if that messes it up. So this is how I printed it. And with the other part, it's not that big the gap between it, but... And then you can just tape it. All right. Let's. So here's the dog shrink wrap bowl. This is probably for the bigger dog bowl and it's the smaller dog bowl. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go with it. All right. My things don't reach over there, so I gotta I think my heat gun does. I don't think the oven does. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to start this way with the bottom. So you can plug your ears. So here is the shrink wrap. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and come back when the oven is warmed up. All right, we're almost there, but I do wanna say, um, you, I do have a little ripple on top and um, on, the, on the bottom. 
like in certain spots it feels smooth the other one it feels like it's pulling so um but i personally wanted to try a full design just to see you know we can learn it together or whatever but if everything else comes out and there's problems on the top and bottom, guess what? You can just shrink your design down a little bit, make it have like a white border on the top and bottom. Then you don't put the design and have that pressure issue or that tightness. But I personally wanted something more than just my um, dog's name and some color. Okay, so I personally have never done mugs in the oven. I've used always a mug press or a tumbler press. So. I did research on the mugs and depending on your oven and depending on who you watch and all that, um, the only thing that was consistent is they pretty much did at 400. Some did it at 10 to 12 minutes. Some did 14 to 18 minutes. So just depending if your oven runs hot, I guess it runs cooler. I guess that's why the change. Um, so with this, we're going to try 400 for 12 minutes. And if I can't see the design coming through or whatever, then we'll let it cook a little bit longer. All right. While it's in there, I'll pause the video and come back like with 10 minutes or 11 minutes to go. Then you guys can um, see if I'm going to add more time or if I'm going to take it out. Okay. So we're right. We're right at the 400. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, move my little temperature over. And then I'm gonna put this in. Now you can put a silicone rack, um, silicone mat inside on top of your rack because the shrink wrap is probably gonna get hot and get stuck to it. But like I said, I whatever. Let me see. I wanna see. Make sure I have a good, um, good um, we'll go right here. There it is, right in the middle, 400. Set the timer for 12 minutes and we'll um, see what happens. Like I said, first time doing it. Don't um, be so hard on me. We'll see what happens. Hopefully everything comes out great. You know? We'll see. We'll see. So we'll just let it cook in there. And go from there. Alright. So we're already pretty much a minute in. So I'll come back. See you guys soon. All right, so it's still in there cooking. We have about two and a half minutes. I do start seeing the design coming through on the one side. It's starting to come through on the other. We did 400 for 12 minutes is what the timer set. But I totally start um, seeing stuff coming in around nine and a half minutes. Um, so this side I seen first. Now I'm starting to see on this side. So I think I'm going to stick with the 12 minutes. Um, we'll see if the black is undercooked or um, burnt. But um, yeah. So about around 9 to 10 minutes, I started seeing the color um, coming through. And I'm at 400 on bake. And we did um, 12 minutes. But I'm wondering if I should take it out. Because now I truly I see the color and everything. Um, I think it's pretty much done. So I would say probably 11 minutes. I think we'll go ahead and um, take it out. Because I don't want it to burn. And we can already see the color. It's already been cooking with the color about two to three minutes. So yeah, I think we'll go ahead and um, take it out. Let's wait. Um, then we can make sure of the time. Um, and I don't confuse anyone.
All right, 11 minutes, and I'm taking it out. started burning in the back so I probably got more heat in the back because I did not rotate or anything all right Whew, it is definitely hot You want to be careful you don't scratch it or anything. So far. And like I said, if your tape leaves yellow stuff, throw it away. Throw it away. <gasps> Ooh. look at it so we do have a little ghosting because of you know because my paper you know it folded right there so we do have ghosting right there so if you cut it better and line it up you're good so I have more ghosting I think on the bottom and yep on the bottom and a couple spots nothing on top so right here, it's really hot. Let me see if I can get a towel. Let me show you. So I would say good. The colors are supposed to be like that. It does have white in it. So ghosting down here. So if we, if I trimmed it a little bit better, I wouldn't have ghosting. I didn't have no problems on top. So that just tells you my transfer is little bottom, too long on the bottom. So right here. Woo! Almost dropped it. So this is where I taped it, you know, with that one little piece of paper. So I could have totally did better with that. But not too bad because, um, yeah, not too bad. So ghosting right here on this little paw. But up here, the colors are good. They are good. So my tape didn't leave anything. Any marks on the bottom or any inside. So if yours does, throw it away. But I am totally pleased for my first time I'm doing it. Because I got the time down. 11 minutes. 400 on bake with the Hampton extra Hampton Beach extra large oven So here's my black it is not burnt or anything besides the little smudge I Am totally satisfied. I think sassy is gonna love her new bowl So did good not undercooked and not burnt so I just gotta look at you know better on taping and cutting the transfer down a little bit more all right thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys hit like follow see what i do next until next time have a great one bye